Call of Duty Mobile is a game filled with mysteries that you may not know about, from weird unusual spots to a secret trick that gives you aimbot. So for today's video, we're gonna reveal all of them, starting with number 1, Tunisia Con to Box. This box in Tunisia is a really common head glitch that a lot of players hold after planning on A site. It can be really hard to pick them off, but let me show you a wallbang that can easily do so. First, go towards the balcony, then hug this wall to your left, then the statue right here, focus towards the gap between the wall and the statue, then get rid of it by slowly moving forward while hugging the wall at the same time. After doing so, look to your right and align your scope to the wall and use the contrast as a way to find your target from left to right. Once you see the gamer tag, simply just take your shot. And just like that, you get an easy kill. Up next, we have the trailer door parkour. Next time you're in firing range, try getting on this secret spot. You start by aligning your crosshair along this plank here, then run and spam jump until you get that double jump. With this, you should be on top of the door. No one is going to expect you to be here, trust me. You'll guarantee yourself a few kills and maybe even a reaction out of them. Number 3, the stun gun. The Pharaoh is one of those guns that people haven't talked about in a while. As a result, not many people know that the Pharaoh has a new attachment added to it, which is called the Stun Gun. If you don't already have it, you can obtain it by getting 30 headshots using the Pharaoh. It can one-shot a player at close range and almost feels like a mini Tempest, but you gotta make sure you aim it right, cause missing can be deadly. And in my opinion, it's definitely fun to use and troll around in rank, so try it out. Number 4 on the list, EMP Grenades for Trophies. EMP Grenades, the forgotten tactic. Many of you know that the EMP grenades help you disable enemy score streaks like the sentry gun or maybe even a shock RC. But did you know that you can also use the EMP grenades to clear out enemy trophy systems? This can be a really strong counter to trophy systems which can make it easier for your team to break a hill. Why not give it a shot next time you're on hardpoint? Up next, tap and hold has more aim assist. This has been kept a secret for a very long time now. To enable the setting, navigate over to your settings, basic, then scroll down until you find tap and hold to ADS. This is what it looks like with tap to ADS and tap and hold to ADS side by side. You can clearly see the difference. Having the setting on gives you extra aim assist which can make it seem like you have legal soft hacks. So if you want to hit more of your shots and get more kills, I suggest you turn this on and get used to it. Oh, and keep this between us. Don't tell COD Wolf. Number 6, Raid B S and D Wallbang. When you're in raid and expect your enemies to plant on the B site, you can actually wallbang them all the way from bar. To do this, approach the entrance of bar and look down towards the edges of the tiles. On this first tile, go towards the bottom right corner and that's where you want to prone. After doing so, look towards the ledge right here and go for the third dot. Once you have everything set up, just hit that fire button and then thank me later. Be warned though, cause you might get called a hacker and get reported. Number 7, DLQ Concuss Mag can stop Goliath. This is definitely one of those secrets that's just good to keep in mind that just might come in handy one day. If you didn't know, the DLQ has a Concuss Mag that concusses your enemies upon hit and the same applies to anyone in a Goliath. So next time you see your enemies bringing in a Goliath, make them suffer with this attachment. They'll be unable to ADS, shoot, and move normal. And the last one on the list, number 8, Shield Turret as a cover in s &D. The Shield Turret is the cheapest score streak in COD M right now and in s &D, all you need is 3 kills or 2 kills and a plan to get it. The crazy part about the Shield Turret is that you don't even need to hop onto it. Just use it as cover since you can hit your enemies but they can't hit you. Pulling the Shield Turret out will definitely put your enemies in shambles. They won't know what to do next since you now have a cover for yourself that's out in the open. It's not over yet. With all these secrets finally revealed, the only ones left are the secret ARs that are currently in the meta. So if you want to know the ARs that are secretly meta, click on this video. Also, why not share some of your secrets that you know down in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.